Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Happy Friday, fam. Praying for you to have a good weekend. Be safe out there. It is New Year's Eve, just coming up in a couple of days. Praying for a joyous weekend for you and for yours. I've been in Christmas narratives all throughout this week, keeping the awe and wonder of Jesus coming into the world in our hearts as we're still on this side of Christmas. And now here we are waiting to bring a conclusion to this year, 2023, and step into 2024. I want to bring us again to Luke uh, chapter 2. And the Bible says uh, in verse 11, this word, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. The very words of God. This is one of my um, this is one of my favorite passages because of how it reminds us of how God works. And one of the most incumbent things and truths concerning your walk with Jesus to keep before you is this, this verse that says in the Bible that God is a God who works in mysterious ways. God is a God who works in mysterious ways, meaning that often the way God works and brings about things in your life will be a mystery to you. In other words, it won't make sense. It won't often be a conventional approach. It won't often be what you expect God to do. And when you read your Bible, you see chapter after chapter of this truth that God works in mysterious ways. When we come to Luke chapter two here, this is another evidence of the way God works in mysterious ways. It's the episode of the shepherds keeping their flocks by night. The Bible says a host, a multitude to be exact of angels appear out of nowhere and they give the shepherds the good news that the Messiah has been born for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord. And they beckon the shepherds to go and put their eyes on Jesus as witnesses, hallelujah, that the Messiah of heaven uh, has come. And I love verse 12. Uh, these are shepherds who would have been poverty stricken, despised in their society at the very bottom of every demographic in their culture. And yet the angels come to the people on the bottom and already that's preaching to me that when you're on the bottom, God still sees you. And some of you are watching right now feel like you're at the bottom financially, you're at the bottom socially, you're at the bottom mentally, you're at the bottom emotionally. But I bear witness that if God put his eyes on a shepherd, he's putting his eyes on you. Hey, glory. And they say, go and see him. Translation, go put your eyes on God. Go, go to where God is. And I love verse 12. And this will be a sign for you. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Time out right there. Angels, did you just say I'm about to be, I'm about to see God. I'm about to see the one who knit the stars in the heavens, who who spoke a word and flung out trillions of galaxies full of quadrillions of stars with just an utterance of his breath. But the sign of that God will be a baby and swaddling cloths lying in a, in a trough where donkeys eat out of. What's the lesson? God works in mysterious ways. And often the sign of God moving in your life is the very opposite of what the world would say, say it is. Where are those mangers and those swaddling cloth signs that you're moving past and failing to pause and stop and recognize how God may be in that thing after? A lot of us are looking for big signs. A lot of us are looking for flashy signs. A lot of us are looking for expensive signs, but often the signature of God is not in pomp and circumstance, but it's in meek and mild. And I want to encourage you today that God sees people at the bottom, but a reminder that he does not work the way you want him to. He does not work the way you expect him to. But here's the good news. He will work. And I want to encourage you. Don't despise the day of small things because in the small things, God is alive and doing something to work about wondrous things in your life. Hold on. Help is on the way. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.